how I organize my schoolwork and assignments in a binder. If you have seen my how to get organized video, then you are already well aware that I use expandable file folders to organize for each of my subjects but with one exception. I do use a binder for my math classes. I am currently in AP Calculus BC and I am currently using a two inch black Avery binder and it's linked below my school supplies haul video. I use a binder for math in particular because first of all, my teachers always hole punch everything that they give to us for this particular subject. And I also think it's really useful to flip through all of my notes and handouts chronologically and a binder really allows me to do that. As you open up my binder, you'll see that I have a set of five file dividers and I got these dividers from the Target dollar spot and I thought that the patterns were super, super cute. My first section is for bell ringers and bell ringers are just classwork activities that we do each class as the bell rings just to prepare us for the class ahead. My next section is for notes and in the notes section I have the handouts that I'm given. I have some loose leaf with like my notes written on it like during lecture as well as like some printouts of like the PowerPoint slides that my teacher goes through. My next section is for homework and I actually set this up pretty differently because I have all of the actual homework I'm assigned in the section but I have it I have everything else separately in a notebook. I always put this pink post-it note on whatever is due the next class just to remind me on like what is urgent and what needs to be done immediately. My next section is for AP questions. Throughout the year, we prepare for the AP exam that we take at the end of the school year. And so periodically we're given practice AP questions and I put them in that section. And my last section is for tests and quizzes, which is very self-explanatory. But the nice thing about having this binder is that there are several pockets in both the inside and the back cover. In this back cover, I keep a number 18 Rhodia graph paper notepad. It has a spiral on the top, which is nice so I don't have to crease my hand on it. But I find that it's so useful to have all of my math homework in it. I do all my work on a separate sheet of paper and often we have to draw number lines or graphs. And so I find it's useful to keep all of that in one place. So this is definitely like my favorite thing that I've started implementing as I organize within a binder because although loose leaf paper is great, I think that spiral notebook just really helps me stay organized as a whole. And I'm really happy with this system and I hope that that some of you found this helpful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up.